Hello there, my name's Paul Ellis and I run the time and time again cookery school in West Sussex. Today I'm going to share with you some recipes, some chef tips to bring back the fun in home cooking. I'm going to show you how to make sausage gravy, really really nice. So I've got a hot pan and I've got some olive oil now on the, on the go there so that's starting to sort of uh, get to temperature. So I've got some nice red onions I'm going to run through. Hear that sizzle, really nice, absolutely fantastic. Now when you're making a sausage gravy, you, you know, it's up to you, you, can, you know, you can add some fresh thyme to it, you know, you can do a red wine to it, but today, you know, I'm going to do um, some beer for it, so that'll be a nice uh, a beer, red wine type gravy, so add a little twist to it, really nice. So. I'm going to get them sort of sweated down. You don't really want to colour them, all you want to do is just really want to just cook them about colour. Got a lovely little bit of stock here as well. So what we do, once the onions are sweated down and they're nice and soft, I'm going to add my, uh, my sausages to brown through. Now you can cook these separately and add your gravy at the end, but I'm going to just run the sausage through it while I've got a nice hot pan going. Just use my temperature, my heat. So we're going to brown them up as well. So we're doing two things at once. We're cooking our sausage. We've got our onion on the go as well. Now it's all about preparation as well. I've got my stock ready there as well. And I've got my beer as well. So we're going to just cook that down quite nicely. And I'm going to smother that down. Get that going. Don't have to colour your sausage. You don't have to at the end of the day because we're going to, when we put our gravy in there, we're going to probably cook it for about 20 minutes. Give them enough time for our sausage to cook anyway. So, doing a bit of rush, just get your sausage in there, toss them around. Because what I'm going to do now is add my beer. Again, lovely bit of colour. Will be nice on the sausages, but we don't have to. So, we're just blanching them through now, that'll cook very nicely and reduce that beer through them onions really nice so a bit more so we've got a nice beery taste to our gravy we'll add some black pepper to that again like I said you can put your sausage through the oven to brown through then add it to your gravy but this is more like a an all-in-one type of, which is quite nice Beautiful, and we're going to add our stock to that. So what we're doing now, we're just letting this just simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes. And by then, the gravy would have reduced by half, and by then the sausage would have, would have cooked, and the onions would have been perfectly cooked as well. And you can always add some herbs to it, some thyme, some basil, some tall up to you. So come over to my sausage and onion gravy, absolutely fantastic. It's reduced, the colours there, my sausages are cooked, that is ready to serve. The sauce is a right consistency, take it off, unbelievably. It smells good, I can smell that beer as well. And that's how you make a sausage gravy.